Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Magic Orthodoxy. My name's David. You're here because hopefully you want to see a review for playing cards or a magic trick or a Rubik's Cube or something. And that's what I do. I review stuff kind of like an over-glorified unboxing, really. Uh, show you stuff, give you my opinion so that you can make an educated purchase. Today, we're going to look at the Cyberpunk playing cards. This is a new release out on Kickstarter and it's coming to you from PlayingCardDex.com and Will Roya. Alright, this deck is inspired by the literary genre, cyberpunk. It's kind of dystopian and it's kind of like their own story. Uh, it's a story where humans and machines are mixed into each other, kind of cyborg e, but cyborg meets punk rock. And in this world, it's full of conspirators and gangs that are trying to scramble for tech, food, weapons that have all been left behind by the big corporations of our day. There's going to be four different gangs. Each gang is represented by a different one of the suits, the clubs, hearts, spades, and diamonds, and we will look at that momentarily. Right now this deck is on Kickstarter, which means this is a prototype, which means artwork and design work can change from this to the deck that lands in your hands. Oftentimes what uh, graphic designers will do is they'll run a small uh, print of the deck as a prototype. And they'll use that prototype to send on to reviewers like me to create hype for the deck, obviously, but also to examine the product and say, okay, does the front line up with the back? Uh, does this design work in a fan? Are the pips easy to read? Are the colors popping and standing out the way we like because sometimes things look good on a computer screen but you need to see it like in person like as a three-dimensional object and so it's nice to kind of have like a little preview of what this is going to look like and so that's what uh, a prototype is and I got a bunch of these because you know people send them to me to review and it's nice to have and so but just know that things can change from one deck to the final printing. The tuck case front says cyberpunk and it's all done with kind of like a brushed galvanized aged metal look. Uh, there's a skull wearing a breath mask and there's what looks like maybe a, a sword or a pike going up through the middle of it. One side indicates that they are produced by Will Roya and illustrated by Jamie Meza. The other side simply says make playing cards because this deck is from MPC but the final deck will be a United States playing card company deck of course. The bottom says playingcarddecks.com and the top has the four dystopian suits. The inside tuck flap says God is a girl, a digital girl. And that's pretty cool to get a tuck case with a prototype. Oftentimes, maybe half the time, uh, prototypes don't come with tucks because it's another thing you have to print. But it's nice to have this so you can get a little taste of what it might look like. Now, let's look at the cards. Now, obviously, we can't talk about cut, finish, stock, quality, and all that because this is a prototype and they're printed from makeplayingcards.com, which is a great place to go to if you're looking to get a prototype made or a small run made, if you only want a small run made. Uh, the final product will of course be United States Playing Card Company. Will Roya always picks uh, air cushion finish. He always picks traditional stock. And so uh, that's something that you can look forward to. The back design looks more like H.R. Uh, Giger, right? Looks more like Alien, less like uh, Cyberpunk, but it's this mechanized woman's face and it's a mirrored image, uh, strictly top and bottom. So, I mean, I guess the corners are, uh, mirror each other as well, but it's very uh, haunting. The image is a full bleed and it goes all the way to the edges. And the face cards all have some sort of computer chip-like border. The font in the corner is very splatter uh, looking. It looks like uh, smeared ink or dropped paint. And then you have what uh, I would say was a traditional looking pip, even though they've been redesigned to fit this splatter punky theme. Blacks are still black, reds are still red, and the face has more of a gray look than a white look. Your two jokers in the prototype deck are a colorized version and a black and white version of a clown shirtless man with a gun pointed to his head. Each one of your aces 
are a more exploded pip with a center design. So the Ace of Spades is that same graphic we saw from the front of the tuck case. The Ace of Diamonds is more like a dragon or some sort of demon with spikes coming out of his head. The clubs is another lizard dragon looking thing, maybe with dreadlocks and the dreadlocks are forming the shape of the club. And the hearts is again, some sort of red dragon demon and the horns are coming down on the sides to form a heart shape. Now I said the four suits were also different gangs in this cyberpunkian world. Uh, the clubs are the Brotherhood, and they're a Rastafarian gang, hence the dreadlocks we saw earlier. And according to this story, they are a cult that worships the Ganya goddess. She controls all of cyberspace. The Hearts deck, these are the pirates, and they are traffickers of oxygen, and they sell the oxygen to the poorer communities in this story. The diamonds are the Yazuka. They are a silent and elite unit, and uh, they're more like an urban myth of assassins, and legend is if you see one, is the last thing you'll see. And lastly, the spades are the good boys. So if you ever need a cyber implant, or if you're a pirate and you need access into the matrix, or you need analog or digital drugs or weapons, the good boys are your best ally, but you'll have to pay them and if you don't, they could be your worst enemy. Well, that's the Cyberpunk deck. Like I said, it's being produced from playingcarddecks.com. It's out on Kickstarter right now. If this deck appeals to you, if you like it, if you think, ah, I could get into that. It's really more of a collector's deck. Uh, it's still good for gameplay though. I think the pips and indices still stand out. Uh, it's maybe not a magic deck or a flourishing deck, but it's still a deck that's fun, especially if you like Cyberpunk. So head on down to kickstarter.com and give them your support. Thanks guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.